My G36 is currently overheating, so let's fix it. It's day 22 of posting every day of 2025. Let's explain the issue. So essentially, whilst I'm driving, especially on long trips, my heat gauge will be where it's meant to be, running temp, and then suddenly it will just shoot up to hot, and if I whack my heaters on full, it will then drop back down to normal running temp. What this is likely to be is air bubbles in my coolant, so let's bleed the system. Now, when you do this, make sure the engine is cold, otherwise you're gonna get a face full of hot coolant. You wanna start by undoing this, and then unscrewing this. There you go. And you can see there's only a bit of coolant in there. Now, the bleeder screw is located just here on the GT86, so let's get that off. Now we've got this off, we can see that there is, in fact, air bubbles in our coolant, because if there wasn't, coolant would be slowly spilling over this edge. So this is how you bleed it. So now we know we need to bleed it. We get our coolant. Most GT86s use blue. Now you just want to pour the coolant in here until it fills up. Okay, we've slightly overfilled it, but that's completely fine. Just get a microfiber and clean that up. It's also worth giving this pipe a bit of a squeeze because that will get all the air bubbles out as well. And once that is done, all you need to do is those steps in reverse. So bleed a cap in, put that cap on, put that cap on. Now, all we need to do is go in the car, start it, whack the heaters on full blast, let it get to running temp, let it cool down, and then check the bleeder screw. If the bleeder screw does have coolant trickling over the top of it when you undo it, then you're fine. If not, you just repeat until you get that. It can be quite a long process and it can take quite a few cycles of what I just did. However, that is how you do it. Let me know if you have any questions.